So, I'm moving house in a month today actually when I'm filming this and I always use moving house as an excuse to declutter and downsize and organize some of my possessions so I will talk more about this in a vlog but I'm thinking of downsizing my office desk I currently have the IKEA Alex unit which has 10 drawers like this full of makeup and beauty products and office equipment. I'd really like to kind of downsize this so I'm going to start with the decluttering series today and I thought that one of the easiest drawers to downsize would be my foundation and base and powders drawer because I don't think I've opened this in about three months. I've been sent a few more products as well since then, which I've kind of just dumped here and at the side. So I thought this would be a good chance to go through this, downsize, declutter. I'll have a bag for the bin, a bag for my friends and family, and a bag for charity. And then I'll put everything I want to keep back inside as well. So this is the before. Just take all these off. So this is the before. I am a little bit ill as well, which is why I'm choosing to do this today because it's one of the only things I can do. Let's first sort through some of the new in products and see if I will actually use them. Immediately, I'm looking at these Fenty Beauty foundations, which I would absolutely love to try, but these aren't in my shade, as you can see. They're way too dark for my skin tone. So these will go straight to either charity or friends and family because I haven't used any of them before. Too Faced Born This Way foundation in my shade, which is Snow. I am definitely gonna keep this because I love this foundation. I haven't used it in a while, but this was my go-to foundation when I was on Roaccutane. And so I definitely wanna give it another chance now that my skin is better. I'm also going to keep these two. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Foundation. I get asked all the time what shade I am in of this and it's 1N0 porcelain. I'm also going to keep the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer because I love this and this is also in the shade Snow. I have a backup of the Estee Lauder Double Wear which I'm definitely keeping. Another foundation I use all the time and have a backup of is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This is currently the one I wear every single day and my skin is perfect at the moment, I think, because I've just been using this. Definitely keeping these. I am in the shade Fair 01. I also have a pot of this at my boyfriend's house for when I'm getting ready at his because it's just my go-to. can definitely get rid of this. This is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is pretty much finished. I love this concealer so much. I have a backup here which I bought from ASOS because they stock NARS on ASOS and if I ever get an ASOS voucher I always spend it on this um, concealer so I'm going to keep this and chuck this old one. Also going to keep the IT Cosmetics Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I really love this concealer as well. I have another NARS one here as well which is empty so that can also go. God, I get through so many of this concealer. I also have three of these L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealers. These are actually a great affordable alternative to the NARS Radiant Creamy. I'm going to keep my shade which is 32 Porcelain and I'm going to get rid of these. I've only tried them a couple of times so they could probably go to one of my mates. I'm actually going to push all this to one side and sort out the old drawers first so I can see how much room I have. One thing I do know is that I don't need two of the Bare Minerals mineral veils so I'm going to give one of those away. I have two powders here. I'm going to keep the IT Cosmetics one. It needs a bit of a tidy up though because it's a bit dirty. And I'm going to get rid of the Bare Minerals one which I have haven't used yet I already have one of these foundation wise I want to get rid of quite a lot of these because I haven't worn them in ages I'm going to say goodbye to the pure bear at all I do like this I just haven't used it in a while I'm definitely out of date now same goes with the ordinary I've had this for ages and haven't used it in a while same with the makeup revolutions cover effects I'm going to get rid of these Giorgio Armani ones because again I just haven't worn them in ages Barry M Oh, I'm so sad to be getting rid of all these foundations. It's such a waste. Bobbi Brown, I haven't worn these in God knows how long. I'm going to keep my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade Fair because 
I do like to reach for this one if I'm going to wear a liquid. I'm also going to keep hold of this one because I haven't used it yet. It's the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear. I'm going to keep hold of this uh, Body Shop one because I haven't tried it yet and I did want to give it a go. And this Rimmel one as well. They can both go. I've been using this all the time recently. I wore it in a recent makeup video. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm going to keep this because I still have a little bit to use but... I definitely need a backup of that, so get rid of these. I'm actually going to keep hold of this. It's the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. I remember seeing one of the Pixie Woo girls talking about this and it looking amazing, so I'm going to give that a go. I'm also going to add in my Kiko Full Coverage 2-in-1 because I love this one. You can wear it as a concealer or a foundation. I wore this when I went to the BAFTAs with Kiko and it looked so beautiful on my skin. Right, now for this compartment, which I think is concealers. I can get rid of loads of these because I haven't worn them in a while. I have a newer one of this. Oh, I didn't even know I had that. This is the problem with having too much makeup. I can't see what you've got. This is an old It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which I can get rid of. So these are the concealers I am left with. That's pretty good. This compartment has some kind of like stick highlighters. I am a massive fan of highlighters, so this is gonna be difficult, but I'm gonna try and be ruthless. I'm gonna get rid of that and get rid of that. Oh, I love this one. That's so pretty. I'm gonna keep that and get rid of that. Oh my God, I'm getting rid of some of my fave products here. That might be good for Halloween. Just going to keep these three out of all of those. Also going to add my um, eye cream from Origins and my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray in that compartment as well. I'm going to say goodbye to all of these products. I've got some Ben. Benefit foundation, some more Giorgio Armani ones which are completely separated, Marc Jacobs and some primers. Then we have some powders which I just don't use. Oh my god. If you've been watching me for years, you will know that I used to be obsessed with this foundation. This is a foundation I wore every single day and it is so thick and heavy. You could only get it from like a MAC Pro shop as like stage makeup, but because my acne was so bad, it's what I used to use. It's the full coverage foundation and oh, this is so old, but look how thick it was. I can't believe I used to wear that. Definitely saying goodbye to this. For a girl who doesn't wear primer, I've got an awful lot of them. And these are the primers I'm going to keep. I have some Bobbi Brown ones here, which I haven't even opened yet. A couple of really highlighty illuminating ones from uh, Estee Lauder and Bare Minerals and a Bobbi Brown illuminating one as well. So I think I'm finished with this drawer now. There's still a lot, but if I don't use it in the next coming weeks, and especially once I've moved in, then I think, oh wait, I forgot about these two. That can definitely go. Over here are all the things I'm getting rid of. This is a big pile for the bin. And this is a big pile of stuff that is still usable. So that will go in a bag to you either charity shops or my friends and family. Okay, next are palettes. I am gonna admit I'm the biggest fan of eyeshadow palettes. They're my weakness, along with like lipsticks and blushes. So this is gonna be quite difficult. Again, I have some new ones on the side that I need to sort. But first, I'm gonna work on the main drawer. There are some palettes in here which I use specifically just for Halloween and creative arty tutorials. So I'm definitely gonna keep those. This is one of them. I'm gonna move it to my Halloween makeup drawer. And um, this is the Urban, Urban Decay Full Spectrum. This is so difficult because I love palette. I've got this amazing one from Morphe. Loads of beautiful warm tones. Definitely do with a wipe. 
and this one which I mean again is perfect for Halloween. I haven't actually used this palette before but I want to because the shadows are such high quality but I don't wear greens that often so again I think if I was to use this it would be for Halloween look. This is one of my favourite ever eyeshadow palettes, um, one of my oldest as well, it's the Too Faced Natural Eyes but it's looking a little bit worse for wear so I'm going to put that to one side. I think I am going to treat myself to a new, new one of these because I've had it for so long. I can get rid of this one, this is the Estee Edit, it has just the real mix of shades. Oh I love this Narcissist one as well, this is impossible. Fenty, this is my first Fenty palette, I love this. I'd actually quite like to do a look entirely created with this palette, let me know if you'd up, be up for that. Ciate, I could probably get rid of this one as well because these are shades that I wouldn't necessarily wear every day. But the packaging, look at that. I have loads of the Bare Minerals um, palettes and I love these for the reason that they are so small and compact and you get six colours in each and they're so beautiful, so pigmented, a real nice mix of shades. I'm just going to quickly go through these. The Latte palette, oh love that, I'm going to keep that one. The Neutral palette looks like this, again it's super wearable but I've got a dupe so I can get rid of one of them and the Rose palette. Again, definitely going to keep that as well. I also have loads of Illamasqua ones, which I have hung on to for so long. But I could downsize. Oh, I love this one though so much. That definitely belongs with bronzer cheek palettes. Could probably get rid of this one. It's super simple. Probably get rid of this one as well. Oh, and this one is completely falling apart, so that can go. This one from Tarte is beautiful, but I really don't wear it enough. I'm a big fan of all the limited edition Bobbi Brown palettes. But I could probably get rid of a couple of them. Oh my god. These are stunning. Oh, this is so cute. That can go. Oh my god. Definitely keeping these ones from Bobbi Brown. I swear Bobbi Brown are one of my favourite makeup brands for eyeshadow palettes. The packaging is beautiful as well. Got, I've only got two MAC palettes. Um, I bought this one from their website and I made this one. It's got a couple of my favourite shades in it. Nylon, oh my god, I used to love this. So pretty. Definitely keeping those. Oh, I love these. Oh, I've got a Charlotte Tilbury one here. I absolutely love I think this might be my only Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. Oh no, it's not. I got sent one recently. It's the Pillow Talk eyeshadows. I downsized a lot of my sleek makeup palettes recently, but I can probably go ahead and say goodbye to the rest of these. Oh, this one might be good for Halloween. Will it? Oh, this is where I'm failing because I don't want to get rid of any of them. <laughs> Oh my god, I love these ones from By Terry. I need to start wearing these again. Too Faced also do beautiful eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to get rid of them because I've got a lot of other ones that are very similar. I can get rid of this one from Freedom Blush. I bought this for some Halloween makeup looks, but I don't need it. Oh, forgot about this. Love this one. Also Too Faced. This is the Natural Love palette. Some good drugstore option. If any of you guys like the kind of Bobbi Brown ones I've been showing, this one's from L'Oreal and it has very similar colours but it is half the price. Less than half, probably a quarter. In fact, I might do a blog post on dupes, in which case I'll keep those. I bought this I never use this. This is a shade and light palette from Kat Von D. I'm probably going to get rid of it actually because it's just not one that I reach for. Too Faced. Look at these bad boys. This definitely needs to tidy. Oh my god, these ones smell like chocolate. I used this palette for my glitter, melting glitter Halloween tutorial last year.
Another brand who do amazing eyeshadow palettes is Ciate. These are two examples. These shimmers look gorgeous. And this Jessica Rabbit palette as well I showed in a video. They just do like shimmers beautifully. Also wanted to show you this new palette from Bobbi Brown. This makes me so happy. This is the ultraviolet eyeshadow palette and the packaging is just beautiful. And also the Pure Envy palette from Estee Lauder. I hope you can see how beautiful these are. In terms of cheek ones, I'm probably going to keep all of these. These new Charlotte Tilbury ones are so beautiful. The Glowgasm palettes. I've been using this lighter one a lot recently. Also quite new in for me is this Benefit Blush, Bronze and Highlight palette. Look at those. This is the drawer now that I've finished. I've still got way too many, but I'm really happy that they all fit in and the drawer isn't overcrowded and I can kind of see everything I've got at one glance as well, which is really handy. Welcome to part two of my makeup decluttering series. I'm back today decluttering two more drawers. I have my eye makeup drawer here and then my blush and bronzer and highlighter drawer here. Let's do this one first. So you might have seen me showing you through this on my vlog channel, but these two compartments are eyeliners and mascaras. I have a drawer full of brow bits here, sharpeners and tools loose eye pigments and eyeshadows and then some backups at the back. I also have a massive pile of products kind of like here next to me, new in, which I want to fit into this drawer. So I'm gonna have to really like sort this out and downsize. But I've decided I might speed this up a bit and then just show you some of the bits I get rid of and some of the bits I keep because otherwise we are gonna be here all day long. So these are the products I'm keeping. I know that there's a lot of them. I do want to review a lot of these. For example, I haven't yet tried or reviewed the new Benefit Roller Liner eyeliners. These look amazing, really precise. Eyeliner nibs in a brown and a black shade. Only a couple of pencil kind of like eyeshadows here. One from The Body Shop, one from Kiko, and one from Bobbi Brown. And these are all really pretty nice shades. If you want a wash of colour on your eye and you don't have time for like blending, you just rub that on and blend with your thick finger. And then I have a mixture of um, high street and high end like nudes and browns and blacks pencil eyeliners. This one I have some mascaras which are really new I want to try. I haven't yet tried this one from Milk. Milk is a really new brand in the UK at the moment. We've got one from Thrive which looks awesome. It's super heavy. And then here I've got brow products and again there's a lot of them but I mean I'm always going to need brow products because my brows are wild. <laughs> sent these Ciate marbled metals um, kind of like cream eyeshadows and I wanted to show you them because oh my god they are beautiful. I'm just going to swatch them all quickly. They look like this in the pan but they swatch so beautifully. Whoa, whoa that's insane. These are stunning. I also have two of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize cream eyeshadow, so I might swatch these as well now so you can see in comparison. They look like this, nice and whipped. 
so soft and creamy. I don't know if you can see that. They're really pretty, really creamy and wearable. Love those. Probably a lot more wearable than the Ciate ones, but still. Okay, so this is the draw after. I'm gonna admit, I completely got distracted whilst doing this and have kind of given up, but I've got my mascaras, eyeliners, brow products. I've got some eye primers in this little compartment down here. I love the ones by Bare Minerals. Most of the ones I have are from them. I've got some liquid cream eyeshadows here. My tools, loads of sharpeners. I haven't decluttered these yet. I haven't got around to that. And I haven't really changed this much either because I just love them all. I don't really want to have to get rid of any of them yet. We will see how that goes. I've also got a little drawer here full of the creams which are going to go in my Halloween kit. I'm going to make a new drawer, especially for Halloween stuff. Um, so that can go in there. Next up, this drawer, which again is going to take a while because I love all of these. Maybe I'll just focus more on giving it a bit of a tidy and a reorganise than having to put pressure on myself to get rid of things. But I don't want to. I just did that super quickly. Um, I've got rid of quite a few and kept all of these. These are my favorite. The, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow highlighters. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've kept quite a few MAC ones and narrowed down my Bare Mineral Gen Nudes. I've got some new of the new Benefit Hula bronzers. They've developed some different ones for different skin shades, skin tones. So I'm going to be testing out the light, which is for pale skin. I'll report back on that. I've added a few new ones as well. I've got a Trini like taupe contour shade that I really want to try. I love a cream stick and I've got some creamy highlighters as well back here as well. So yeah, this has not been very successful, but I'm losing the will a little bit and just want to get my room back to talk tidy again. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I will be showing me moving into my new place very soon. And I'm looking to get some new makeup storage as well. So that'll be good. Love you lots. Bye.